seven basic techniques that a candidate this year during KCC preparation can employ in order to pass their exam using the last minute revision uh, method. <music> or cramming can be a very important method it can make you learn a lot of concept especially those which you need for only few days or hours therefore if done effectively it can lead to better performance in your exam i have tasked myself to come up with seven basic techniques that a candidate this year during KCC preparation can employ in order to pass their exam using the last minute revision uh, method. These techniques will help the candidate to remain calm during this stressful moment and ensure success in the exam. In the spirit of hashtag Better late than never. The first technique that I can advise candidates to begin with is always begin or arrange the topics according to the level of understanding. Okay, for example, there are the topics that you are confident in. There are those topics that you are not confident in that require a lot of practice. And there are topics that you completely have no idea of. So what you normally do is emphasize on the topics or areas that you are confident in so that it can boost your morale during this stressful time. When it comes to the topics that you have no idea of, I usually kind of advise candidates not to allocate a lot of time in those areas. But the areas that require practice they can be improved during this last minute revision. I hope you've understood that bit of arranging topics according to the way you understand them. By writing them as the topics you know or you're confident on, the topics that you require to do a little bit of practice and the topics that you have no idea. Okay? Another a technique that I've seen it work miracle is consolidating or concentrating uh, large information in a sim in a one page form, so that you don't have during the last minute revision or hours to exam you don't have to read a lot of stuff. So what you normally need, need to do in this technique is to consolidate or to merge so that at least you have very few notes but having a lot of information and then highlighting the key point so that when it comes to revision you are only going to read the highlighted point and not the whole paragraph there is no time for that of course don't learn all the information at the same time instead prioritize some topics so that you don't have to have a lot of work to do in a very short period of time and get yourself hyped up. There is no reason for that because most of the work was done since form one and now we are talking about revision towards the exam. Few days, few hours. Therefore, you need to organize yourself so that you don't have to have a lot of back to read that time so that you are confident before and even during the exam. Okay, technique number four is review past KCSE papers. Okay, the KCSE papers, the KCSE past papers are all over and for up to now, I'm very sure that majority of you have interacted with the past KCSE papers. Okay, 
how is this important this one is going to help you in knowing the time to allocate in every session if it is like mathematics we have section a and b if it is like biology we have uh, paper one and paper two especially paper two has section a and section b so you need to kind of interact with the past cases in paper so that you can know the time that every session needs to be allocated because remember time and exam and the success is one thing if you mismanage your time you will be far away from success this year past kcsc papers also have techniques that the the exam council uses to uh to the exam council uses so that you familiarize yourself having that rough idea so that if, when it comes to rush hour or last minute revision you know the technique and you have a rough idea of how the questions and how the questions will look like remember i have said about identifying the topics that you're in confidence with and those which you are not confident and those which you want to put a little bit of practice now in technique number five you are supposed to list down the areas that you will tackle during the exam okay for example the topics that you are confident in you will not need them few hours to exam but during that very time a few hours to exam having have listed the topics that you will tackle or you will revise as you approach that exam will be very critical because remember these are the areas you identified in technique number two or number one if i'm not wrong and these are the topics that require a little bit of practice and boom you get it okay so list down the areas that you're gonna revise when you are approaching the exam technique number six okay some of you will think i'm joking but technique number six is magical and this technique says get enough sleep oh yes a lot of sleep you make sure you have your eight hours of sleep sleeping is a very important uh, technique when it comes to exam this is because it makes you improve your procedural memory your procedural memory your procedural memory is the memory that is concerned with recall with remembering and it will give you this the skills and the procedural technique to approach any questions that comes on your way remember every exam must follow the broom's taxonomy whereby a question on knowledge will be tested to know how much you know that means you to recall or to remember it must it also tests on a hessian so how much of information do you understand it also tests on application application involves questions on real life situations and uh, broom's taxonomy also ensures that learners are tested on the areas of analysis analysis is breaking information or knowledge into parts so the, the the information the question might break the the knowledge you have into parts and then they will try to to see whether you understand when the information has been broken into part and finally the also broom's taxonomy also is concerned on the synthesis of the information synthesis of the information is taking the broken parts and putting them together to form a whole part so the synthesis and analysis are kind of twin sisters we need to know that so getting enough of sleep 
will help you improve your physical and mental health and at the same time improve your procedural memory that I've just explained. What will happen if you don't get enough of the sleep? Lack of enough of sleep will uh, make you lack concentration and will affect your physical and mental alertness and during the exam and this one can lead to total failure even to those candidates who are naturally intelligent technique number seven is have a positive vibe you need to have a positive vibe my dear you need to have a positive vibe because this one work magic you need to always remind yourself this is just an exam like any other you have passed those other exams then why not will you not pass this exam? Just build your confidence and face that exam and you come to thank me later. All the best, don't panic, just give the best of yourself and you're going to pass with the flying colors. And if you don't pass, it is not the head of the world. He can't close one door. He opens thousands of other doors. You need to have faith in yourself and do your best and things are going to work out. It's bye.